Yeah. Madden, it's Sam. Yeah. I got yeah. your information. Yeah. And the owner that. of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Yeah. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Yeah, be careful, bitch. <clears throat> we are. We are on the... The owner of the apartment of where Ethan cut off his finger game. lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. So... I'm gonna see if I can finish it. If not, then definitely the next stream we will finish the game. What's up, brother? Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please come in. This guy's a creepy ass dude. Almost like a John Kramer type character. From Saw and shit. Uh, don't be looking so, at me. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much <clears throat> do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Hell no. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Get off of me. <clears throat> I don't drink drinks with strangers, man. Who knows what you put in that shit. I will not be roofied. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some Betropin. Told me he got it from you. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. That's not good. <laughs> You're not drinking? Fuck no. I am, um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. Yeah, you ain't gonna be roofing me. I'll get your prescription. It won't be a moment. Wait here. All right. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. <clears throat> Here. Doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Yeah, then we won't get caught. Of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Well, that's what you need, bitch.
we're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. She just got the straight <laughs> knee in you. <laughs> Ah, say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here. Oh so my god! I use He's gonna cut me to up! Hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Oh, don't. Here's my stinger. You're not even really screaming, but there you go. Oh, she. Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. <laughs> I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Yeah, let's get the fuck out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. Slowly, slowly. Come on, come on. There you go. I come to bring the word of the Lord and the connection of the I will gladly be with you in the term for confidence with only five dollars. No thanks. And this bitch almost dies. It's not what I wanted. Yeah, hopefully this cough goes away soon. I will not like that. Just 
So on Thursday, 18 p.m. I'm gonna grab that damn gun. Dealing with mad jack. Got them rain soaking wet. Hey, cracker! What you doing in there? <laughs> Call me Krakow. Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Okay. <clears throat> Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Gotta take a walk. Woo! <coughs> When's that mixtape coming out? Rhyming with bars and shit. Yeah, he ain't too heavy. Blood. Now why is there blood here? You never saw your damn car. Take a damn walk, brother. Go back. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Very common. <clears throat> Few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. <coughs> I don't trust this guy. Well, no shit. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. <sighs> Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope hey! This... You got me, officer. I'll come clean. Now that car, she buff up real good. I painted her dangerous blue. In honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Come on. <clears throat> to beat his ass. He's just big as hell. Gun! <clears throat> Shoot his ass. 
Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. <laughs> really, yeah. Damn. You broke my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. <clears throat> you will scare me with the CSI. You ain't got it in you. Mm, I will shoot your ass. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Because I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident because you won't really be able to talk, will you, Jack? Crazy <coughs> motherfucker, you out of your mind, man? Well, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down in the Blue Lagoon when the car was Again, with Paco? Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Oh, no. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Hmm? Damn drug abuse. Oh my god. Hold it. Woo. One of the hardest ones in the game. Turn around. Cool. That's crazy. Scott Shelby once again. What do you got for us, man? It's now it's four thirty. <clears throat> so, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. That makes no sense. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go in my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Sure you will, brother. Sure you are. He still got that damn sandwich in the fridge too. <coughs> Those are some big ass eggs. Yeah, but Gordy being the killer it makes no damn sense whatsoever. Now we make these scrambled eggs. That doesn't look like scrambled eggs. Looks like a damn omelet. <clears throat> right, 
time to do the trick. Alright, bitch. You got y'all scrambled eggs. Oh, fuck. It's over here! Egg should be ready by now. Oh, look at that. Egg should be ready. How is that scrambled eggs, man? Look what I made for you, bitch. Ooh, damn. Mm. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Uh, you hey, that me. almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients, one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait. <coughs> You're acting real suspicious, bro. You're acting real funny. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. Yeah. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. Yeah, it sounds like he doesn't want to help you. Because there's a damn typewriter right there. Make it make sense. But if you guys did miss the last stream, I did mention that after we do finish this game, we'll play Lollipop Chainsaw. Be a little interesting game to play. We'll play that, see where we are, and then move on from there. Because I still don't think any games are coming out. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. <clears throat> what are you going to do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. John Shepard. You never give up, do you? <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing up. Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy, the dead don't mind. Come on, bad. Sure. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. Hey, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Stay to here, a little further out. Thanks. Yeah, I just seen it. It's right here. <clears throat> hey, Lauren. I found it. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Did these people not think of fucking like umbrellas? These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? 
I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. A little rain never hurt nobody. Come <clears> on, <throat> let's go play. Yeah, that's sad shit. Bitch can't catch me! Really? This is like the worst chapter ever. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. And the kid voice acting is fucking shittier. Shittier. I'm right here, bitch. up here. Oh, okay. Just run on. Oh, sh Now, why would they be living near a construction site? Like, whose idea is that? be doing this and if they fail they pretty much fuck it. Oh 
out twice. I know there's a trophy if you do that without Fallon. Already got it though. John, wait for me! Get a blue ball! You got to piss me off. Try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty. <laughs> That's everybody counts to find the see. Like you dead, brother. What happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. It's already raining, bro. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. You're very defensive right now, Scott. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. Shepherd's grave. Ooh. 
At least he knows how to use the damn umbrella. Madison Page. Back with her. I haven't played Ethan in a while. Again, I'm going to try to mute my mic. Anytime I need a call. Best uh -huh. Street. Better be careful. He might be the killer. <laughs> Look at that guy who worked on that bitch. You take a piss. You take a piss? Take this. Sexy girl. What makes you think you ain't sexy, baby? There you go. <clears throat> nope. We need to do mo. No, 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 no. We ain't finished with you. 
Like, we ain't finished with you. Shoulder. Show that booty. Okay. We have to look sexy for Paco. Sweetheart, the boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You do all right here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Oh. I like the way you move, Madison. Madison. We are hot under the collar. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. Chill. <clears throat> you think he's about to get some? Time to get squeamish. Oh. Even if my so, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> Cheers. I'll take it. Just get in the way of the good things, sweet cheeks. Yeah. So, show me what you can do. Take it off. Slowly. Take it all off. <clears throat> uh, could, could I have a drink? No, 
know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. Bruh. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I'll talk down. Now, show me what you can do. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. <clears throat> Look, uh, I I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. And I never take no for an answer. Man, this, this is some bullshit. Go. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know! Oh my god, are you serious, Amy? There we go. Oh, jeez, with this fucking music. <laughs> Baby sweet cakes. So I take care of that. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. Wake up, Paco. Wake the fuck up! Oh! Ah. There we go! If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Damn, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know balls when I cash up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? Is that yeah? Ah, oh, let me listen. Paco wishes that was him. Hmm? If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Grab the nets. Oh, oh, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Oh, Squeeze the I nets! I put it at a farmer. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Oh, ah. oh golly. Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! <clears throat> Interesting. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> the name he gave me. 
John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? Guess it's time to get out of here. I've got a massive headache. Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. If this Paco is one of the buddies of Dr. Death, better watch his step. Wrestler? Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> School for the jet set. Not really my kind of hangout. How about that? You didn't do too badly now, did you, girl? Uh, that was a fun little chapter. Now we're back to Nam and Jade. FBI. He's out the damn blue I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? <clears throat> He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Yeah. Know your role. Shut your mouth. Oh, you. Skirt, I'm gonna hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. I must be a killer, bro. Look, I know you kept me out of prison. But that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. I think my debt to you is paid. Don't fuck around, man. No. No, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. No. Don't keep me. <coughs> Paco is dead as shit? No time to waste. Gotta find Paco. Paco. This guy is probably still in here, too. Somebody's in here. Yep, there he is. Oh, oh shit. Oh. What the fuck is this? Time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? 
Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he? Makes you wonder, man. Madison Page? What was the journalist doing here? He was playing, you know, some uh, BDM. Some BDM action, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Shit. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Yeah, there you go. Forty-five caliber. Paco Mendez was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. And why is there such a damn echo? There's no music playing no more. Bullet right between the eyes. Instant death. Damn, skip it. Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer. The fucking origami killer. Madison Page? She may be a witness. Where's your gun? There's your gun. <clears throat> Same shit. I got everything. I got the palm and I got his shit. Yeah, I think I got everything. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright. <clears throat> shit. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. Gotta go. I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. Cold sweats. Get back to the hotel fast. Paco knew the killer. That's why he was killed. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill him. On the right track, do you think? It's too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face. I should actually look and see where we're